What's up, 12-inch action figure fans? Welcome back to the MIB Master Museum. I'll be your curator today. Guys, got another fun one for you. All the way from 1992, an End Time Products release. Rapid Deployment Force. Night Paratrooper. Let's bring this guy in. Guys, this is... uh. Another beautiful figure from the Rapid Deployment Force collection that we picked we picked up. Like I said, we've been picking up a lot of these guys. And this is another one to our beautiful collection. This is our Knight Paratrooper. Really cool figure. Comes with a once again a ton of equipment. And this guy is decked out in all, all black. Let's uh, move this guy around a little bit. Shed some light on him. Yeah, this guy is decked out in all black, as you can see. This uh, rapid deployment force line was just a well-kept secret. This figure line eluded me back in 1992 I didn't I didn't know anything about it very very vague at best you can see he's holding his his uh, semi-automatic weapon here in his hand got his chest plate right here more attachments more equipment here's his helmet got his headband on I saw a ton of these figures and I wanted to try to get as many as I could and we're, we're trying to get these guys in very good to great condition and this guy checks all those boxes for the most part um, he's uh, the box has some shelf wear to it a little bit, but for the most part, it's uh, it's museum quality. Everything is C10 inside of the box. All of the uh, accessories, weapons. You can see right here, he's got uh, rockets, jet rockets attached to his leg, his boots. Here's his backpack. And we've seen this backpack a couple times uh, with some other rapid deployment force uh, figures. Here's his chest plate. His belt. You can see he's locked in there pretty good. I think this head sculpt, once again, reminds me a lot of the Soldiers of the World type head sculpt. Uh, if anybody got any information on these head sculpts, uh, definitely leave a comment in the comment section right underneath this video. We love to hear about it. U.S. Army stickers. Here's his name is Jones, which is rare for figures. They didn't just give uh, a figure just a like a real a real name, uh, not so much even a generic name. This is a this is a real name name, like Jones. You know, generally they would just put the U.S.A. Army or something like that, or Signia, or something like that. They gave this guy a name, which is cool. Get you really in close there. Guys, if you're just joining us, welcome to the MIB Master Museum channel. Uh, this is what we do. I'm hanging out in in my museum, in, in our collection room, in our rapid deployment force section of our museum. And we're just talking about the rapid deployment force figure figure line and today we have our night paratrooper action figure from the rapid deployment force line just a cool line we're going to be getting more uh, we're getting a lot of uh, great feedback about these figures from our subscribers and our viewership 
So uh, we will be uh, adding more of these uh, these figures to our collection here at the museum. Uh, we're looking for condition first, though. We want the the box to be in a certain condition, uh, museum-like condition. So that's you know that that's the trick right there. That that makes it kind of tough when you're trying to make sure these guys are in in excellent condition or 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 great condition you know, or, or good condition. So all those things have to check off with us um, before we get, you know, before we uh, make a purchase and add a figure to our collection. I know somebody wanted to know, you know, what were, what was our, you know, uh, criteria uh, for, you know, purchasing a, a figure for our, our museum. And that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, the figure itself has to be in excellent C9 to C10 condition, especially if it's still inside its box. And, you know, you're talking about a figure here with the Night Paratrooper Rapid Deployment Force uh, line. This figure is in phenomenal condition. Uh, his uniform, as you can see, we're getting up close on it, is, uh, is in excellent condition. Belt, pockets, everything. Crispy. Crispy clean boots and then the box itself checks all those bo uh, off all the boxes as well as far as condition and um, clean just in great condition top of the box like I said uh, we, we can live with minor uh, shelf wear and even a little even a little bit of age but uh That's what we're looking for. Here's the back of the box. Once again, pretty good condition. You got some some shelfware here, along there, a little bit right there. But for the most part, this this box is in excellent condition. You know, you're talking about 1992. Here's our Airborne Ranger. Here's our Night Paratrooper. Great artwork. See, he's got his 9mm Beretta submachine gun. He's holding that in his hand. We'll show you that again. Here's our Para Ninja. Here's our Night Fighter. This is the one we're looking for right here. Um, the Night Fighter. So we're in the process of uh, trying to track this guy down. We got a lead on him. So just trying to complete the process. Here's a Marine. We've, we've, we saw the Marine. Uh, a few times on eBay and Amazon, uh, he's just not quite condition-wise where we would like him to be at to, to make that purchase. Here is the crown jewel of the uh, pair, I mean the rapid um, deployment force uh, line, excuse me. Uh, this is the skull figure. He is the crown jewel and we have him, we have two of them actually. We have a near perfect condition C10 practically. And then we have another not so perfect uh, figure, but we have two of these guys. That that's how much I like them, and I wanted him to be in phenomenal condition. But this is the uh, night fighter, is the one we're looking for right now. And the uh, the collector that had this guy, eBay seller, uh, did a great job. We got this guy off of uh, eBay, and he was. Um, we bought them bulk, so we bought uh, a ton of these figures, uh, rapid deployment force figures. So we got a good deal on them. He's got pockets on the side there. Get you in there. There's pockets right there. There's that nine millimeter Beretta submachine gun that he's holding in his hand. You can see there that. That's where those uh, crazy hand sculpts come in ha handy at, which is just, to me, it adds a lot of charm to this figure, those hand sculpts. And just the way um, different toy lines uh, produced their figures and manufactured their figures. It's beautifully done. And we are in the process of, that's what we're all about here at the MIB Master Museum. 
uh, we're about uh, finding figures that has been long since retired or, or out of production, if you will. And we, we're all about finding that, that toy line, that 12 inch action figure toy line that um, people just didn't hear about, didn't know about, that was way under the radar, way back when, late 80s, early 90s. And if we can go any, even, even further back to the 70s, that's what we'll do uh, as long as we can get these guys uh, in their boxes in excellent condition. Museum condition, museum quality condition. This is our night paratrooper, guys. Are you looking for this guy? Do you have this guy? What do you think about this guy? We want to hear all of that. Leave your comments in the comment section right underneath this video. We'll get the chatter started about our night paratrooper. Um, it's just a, it's just a fun fun line to collect. And I'm I'm having a ball collecting these guys. They're so fun. Like I said, that the colors are big and bold, and um, the weapons and outfits are crazy and outrageous to some degree. And that's what make this. That's what makes this toy line, Rapid Deployment Force toy line, so cool. Guys, we'd like to thank you for hanging out with us today in our museum. We got more fun, more surprises right down the road for you. So stay tuned. You know the routine, guys. Grab your favorite beverage, hop on the couch, kick back and relax, and tune in to the MIB Master Museum Channel. God bless. and keep collecting.